The role of the OAS in mediating the Belize Guatemala territorial dispute. Following its independence from Spain in 1821 and separation from the Central American Republic in 1842, Guatemala began making gestures to the United Kingdom to recover the territory known then as British Honduras, which encompasses present day Belize. In 1981, the United Kingdom, Belize, and Guatemala signed a treaty which registered Guatemala and the United Kingdom's acceptance of Belize as an independent territory. Ten years after Belize declared independence on September 21, 1981, Guatemala established diplomatic relations with Belize, but this did not imply Guatemala's acceptance of the location of the borderline, only Guatemala's acceptance that the Belizean people have the right to self-determination. Subsequently, in March 2000, the governments of Belize and Guatemala restarted talks on their long-standing differendum under the auspices of the Organization of American States. The efforts of the OAS are carried out within the framework of the Fund for Peace, Peaceful Settlement of Territorial Disputes, most commonly known as the Peace Fund, and consists of providing both political support to the process as well as technical support in the field through its office in the Belize Guatemala adjacency zone. This is the first and only civilian peacekeeping mission that the OAS has deployed within the framework of a territorial dispute, an initiative which directly responds to the basic principles of the Organization of American States founding charter. To date, much progress has been achieved, including three confidence building agreements, a roadmap and plan of action to strengthen the bilateral relationship and the commitment of both countries to submit the dispute to the International Court of Justice, as stipulated in the Special Agreement of 2008. The final decision to take the case to the International Court of Justice must be confirmed through national referenda to be held simultaneously in Belize and Guatemala. Currently, the parties are working to create the appropriate conditions so that a date for those referenda can be fixed. In the meantime, the OAS office in the adjacency zone continues to carry out various activities aimed at fostering community-to-community -community contacts on the ground and verifying any transgression of the confidence-building measures. Specifically, the OAS office in the adjacency zone investigates and reports on incidents that occur within that area, promotes communication and rapprochement between the security and armed forces, fosters a culture of peace among children and youth, encourages interinstitutional coordination and training among relevant sectors, for example, between customs and border management officials, police and firemen, natural disaster bodies, and institutions responsible for forest reserves, promotes development and technical cooperation, offers humanitarian assistance, and organizes other special events which include receiving high-level visitors interested in the process. The office also carries out resettlement projects to relocate settlers who are covered by the confidence-building measures and who voluntarily wish to be relocated to their country of origin. Since its establishment, the OAS office has relocated more than 300 Guatemalan citizens who are living in the Belize-administered adjacency zone back into Guatemala. All of these efforts, both at the diplomatic level as well as in the field, are undertaken thanks to the political and operational support provided by the members of the Group of Friends of Belize and Guatemala, as well as other donors such as the European Union. Under the mediation efforts of the OAS, and as a result of the unconditional support of our partners throughout the years, today Belize and Guatemala are closer than ever to finding a peaceful and permanent solution to their centuries-old territorial dispute. More concretely, the parties can boast that the current initiatives which are being undertaken to strengthen the bilateral relationship through the negotiation of more than a dozen cooperation agreements in key action areas consist of a historic step towards putting an end to a differendum that has affected two sister nations for more than 150 years, and whose main goal is to live in peace as neighbors for the benefit and prosperity of both their peoples.